See, the, the chair doesn't have the white arm on it now, so it, it was occupied before. Hmm. We just sat on that person, apparently. <laughs> well, you know, uh, people in submarines are used to close quarters. <laughs> Out down in the mess. Uh, those utensils would be secured more carefully than that. This is a weird cutaway shot, right? Like... <laughs> It is, yes. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly sounded. Oh my god, something happened. <laughs> shaft. Climb down. Goes shaft. down. Enter shaft. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about the shaft. Ah. Um, uh, you can't go anywhere because the uh, graphic cutaway is in the way. Right. Whoa. Okay. That wasn't there. What the hell is going on here? Here, you're not allowed to have a beard. Uh, middle-aged Kenny Rogers, what are you doing down here? That's redundant. He was always middle-aged. <laughs> he was born with that beard. I cycled the equipment early this morning, Commander, and it sounded a wee bit strange. Oh. Made him Scottish? Called him the old salt and gave him Scottish? I... Well, I was trying to Words. go for Kenny Rogers. Um, well, yeah, but wee bit is, is a bit scotty. Uh, cycle conveyor? Okay, I bet we're gonna use those fucking calipers. What do you think? Oh, yeah, if you won't be needing me, uh, <laughs> sir, I'll be on my way. I guess he's... Because he's, he's in See? engineering, so he's scotty. Oh, clearly. So, so essentially, this guy who was new to this vessel just sort of showed up and said, "I'm going to do your job for you." Apparently, and the guy says, "Okay, I'll be." Yeah, like I noticed some sort of thing going on with it. We'll do your fucking job. Fix it. And with no security check, you're letting him play with missiles. <laughs> whoa, uh, whoa. Why does that ladder get that noise? <laughs> a lot of ratcheting set. Because the, the, the missiles are fairly carefully um, guarded, I would hope. Yeah, you, you can't just shoot them off. They've got to be ordered by the captain to, to fire. Or someone acting on the captain's behalf. I, I, I expect. Also, you uh, there's at least one point in history where a submarine was sunk by um, a malfunctioning toilet. Hmm. One of the um, one of the officers used the toilet, but didn't cycle it out properly, and uh, I think it wound up leaving a valve open or something, and it sank. That's that's one you want on your record there. Measuring the hole on the conveyor belt. All right. So essentially, somebody sheared off a screw, and we got to go find a screw that's the right size to put in there so that it stops making a ratcheting sound. There he is, always looking for a screw. And two boxes of flares. What are you doing? No. <laughs> uh, no explosives in the missile room. No flares in the missile room. <laughs> there should be no flares on the entire vessel. Yeah, what More are you gonna, explosives. What are you going to, if you get a flat, you put flares around the subs so <laughs> other subs can get by? <laughs> Now look, we got a lot of points for that. It's like, yes, thank God, you're getting the flares out of the missile room. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> I'll just dump them out through this. Uh... Actually, if you, if oh, look, if here's, I remember right, here's a box of Timmy's fireworks. And... I think they dump out the missile tubes too, so that could be. And we just left kind of the missile thing. un unsupported or whatever there, right? Yeah, we uh, we hit some heavy. You know, rough water or something, and you could bang over and get dented or broken or set off, depending on the kind of missile. I, I, it's probably nuclear, so it probably won't set off that easily, but you can still damage it. Oh, good. We're gonna we're gonna like use the fucking drill machine to make a new uh, screw here. I think. I like how they make you walk all the way. Yeah. Kind of makes you not realize how tiny the inside of a submarine is. <laughs> They've added miles and miles of walking. Uh, 
Well, good. We upgraded from the one to the two, I guess. That's uh, the level, I guess. Dive what? Diver. What? There's a word missing. <laughs> Di diver mask. Diver, diver vehicle. vehicle. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, except for a slight vibration. Oh, we're gonna There's fix that to... too. Except no, no, that makes no sense. Hey, shaft. <laughs> the vibration is coming from the shaft. Everything's working fine here. And done. <laughs> Oh, and Nut is missing, missing from the shaft. We call this the Hitler model. <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> Whoa. That's not a very wide shaft. I thought it... I read that as 12, not one half. No. I'd lug it all over. This is an adventure game. We can, like, lug trees and shit. Stick it in your pants. Stick the shaft, the vibrating shaft into your pants. <laughs> So it's missing one a nut, nut shaft. I mean, you know. Open your drawers and put in the shaft. <laughs> People will deal. Hand tools. Take tool. Use tool on shaft. Half inch. Yeah, you got it. Though, why are you going to stop the shaft from vibrating by using a wrench on it? <laughs> you got you to gotta put the, nut, the missing nut on. I don't see how any of this is helping out with our fucking conveyor belt. Or our mission. <laughs> well, our mission I could see. We want the ship to be in tip-top shape at all times, right? Yeah, but the missile conveyor belt is not necessary to get to your destination. I don't think... I, I don't But think what if we it... have to shoot missiles once we're there? Um... Well, also, I guess it's boring on a long sea voyage, so... <laughs> yeah... It's just, I'm just bored, so I'm going to go around and do everybody's job. Yeah, I also don't see quite enough people, because, like, there are people on submarines, and if there are, like, three workstations in a room, there are going to be three people in that room. Now, get a fucking cotter pen. Get that cotter, God damn it, Mr. Cotter! Six-inch cylinder. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, we can get a cotter pen. <laughs> you take your victories where you can find them. <laughs> I, I still don't know what a cotter pen is. Uh, it's... Uh, I don't know. Alright, we got our shaft, we got our nut, we got our cotter pen. It's one of many things you can find in an Ikea flat pack kit. That is either. So. I Ikea. Any furniture comes in what's called a flat pack. Oh, okay. Right from Ikea. They're, they're all disassembled. Isn't that an hour wrench? Uh, some furniture comes with, with other other bits of hardware and tools as well. Um, yeah, usually just an Allen wrench, but sometimes you get other goods as well. Oh, oh my god. We are are you shitting me? <laughs> He's machining it down to size? Yes, of course he is. Why is there a lathe on a submarine? Well, you wouldn't have to secure it. I mean, it's really heavy, right? So You'd have to secure it extra. I'm sure it's welded to the deck. That's what they would do. Um, this seems convoluted. <laughs> and not Tip our job. Right. I mean, typically a vessel of this size would be stocked with what's necessary to maintain it. Well, instead this vessel decided on putting all the fucking lathes and shit in here so that you can make anything. Uh, I guess. Maybe this is a post-apocalyptic uh, uh, vessel, so like, they're waiting for society to end and they've got everything they need. Let's secure that chuck some more. I mean, you know, we all remember the iconic scene in Thunderball where he has to repair the uh, lug nuts on the submarine before they can have the final climactic battle. Yeah, I mean, that, that scene alone uh, is really how they got the Emmy nod. This is, this is like Chekhov's Law. I mean, you put a, 
uh, freakish green grinder in the back. You have to use it before the act is up. Or they're really robots and they'll do a funny little dance. Satisfied. You shut off the grinder. Oh yeah, I'm satisfied now. He's just not following proper safety procedures. Uh, no, not at all. I mean, my, my ship had a, had a machine shop, but it was 3,000 people uh, big and... Uh, I mean, I guess a submarine might have a machine shop, but it would be very much more secured and um, not out in the open and stuff. <laughs> like the sort of thing where you set it up and then you have to walk two feet to the left to press the button to start it because, to keep you from getting your fingers in it. That sort of thing. Pete, Pete, he, he. I, you think they knew what they were writing? They must have. <laughs> I, I see Jim Walls like writing this just like, no, I don't want anybody to snicker at all. This is very serious what we're dealing with here. This is the freedom of the, this is the safety of the free world. Well, it is written very straight, so I don't think anyone could accuse him of intentionally putting in naughty stuff, but... I mean, if, for example, I were writing it, that's how I would do it. I would write it very straight, knowing that it would make people snicker. Yeah. See, uh, in the lower left, there's a leak of some sort, too. I'm sure he'll get to that as well. <laughs> like, that is biting Navy satire, but <laughs> yes. the rest of it is uh, just straightforward by the books. This is what we're doing. Back and forth. And back, back and to and the forth. left. Hey. Now what? Now we're going to go fix the conveyor belt. We just... Oh, I remember the conveyor belt now. Yeah. Yeah. There's two birds with one stone. Purple Boy, shaft. I hope that missile hasn't fallen on the floor. I know. This is a very still sort of submarine. I mean, I guess it's stopped at its destination, or are we en route and just kind of doing this well? I, th I thought we were en route. I, I thought that was the thing. Like, we we plotted out that course. And... Oh, look at our score. No. Yep. Dang. We're nearly half. We. It slowed down a lot there, though. Yeah. I think this guy is just super lucky. So much could be going wrong in this process. <laughs> so much for the cylinder. I, so much for everything, John Westland. Oh, no. No. No hammer. <laughs> no. Maybe I should have taken a <laughs> missile off before I started using a hammer on it. Oh, well. Banging your metal hammer against a metal uh, bit of hardware couldn't possibly cause any trouble. Oh, good. Now, were you planning to fire it, or were you just fucking around? Just fucking... Well, just checking it. I mean, Scotty told us that there were problems with it. We could probably bring it back at this point, since there's no... Well... I think the main problem was that Scotty was being stereotypical and drunk. <laughs> well. Yep. That was thrilling. I'm thrilled. I'm not going to bother putting the conveyor back or getting the missile out of the... or getting the torpedo out of the tube. It's fine. Putting, it's all fine. Putting things back is a very important part of the Navy lifestyle. I mean, we put that diver back every fucking time. But yeah. A nuclear missile, no biggie. A nuclear missile is called MOOP. Matter out of place. So is the stuff on the table right now and the, the frying pan on the wall. Essentially, you, you imagine the vessel shaking and rocking and like anything that will fall down or hit you in the head uh, needs to be secured. Like Scotty. 
Yeah. He'll fall down and hit you in the head. Are you following me bottle of what? Rum. Oh, of course rum. Why not rum? Also not allowed on a submarine. Hello. What's not an alcohol, you say? Right. Uh, uh, up to a point. Uh, if you're at... S uh, if you're out of sight of land for 30 days in a row, you get a beer ration, but it's only two cans of beer. It's possible people smuggle alcohol on. I'm sure they do. So this part of the game is such a bitch if you're playing it, because this part of the game I remember, you cannot save during this. And you have to win this, and it's completely randomized. Oh, dice games suck. Wait, what? Why letters? Because uh, it's like keep or remove or whatever, but oh. you know what they stand for. Um, also, Westland looks weirdly pudgy here. He does, compared to his earlier models. Maybe a different artist is uh, creating him. So the, the R must be roll, I bet. I think they'd allow keyboard shortcuts for this. Ah, dice games can be really infuriating. Whoa, good roll. You sigh. Oh, that came from Ooh, behind. Came from uh, behind. <sighs> your cigar is. I like how they stop right before hitting your hand. Oh, I'm pretty sure cigars are also not allowed in submarines. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're Ox oxygenated atmosphere. I mean. Yeah, and and you're using it up. <laughs> There's scrubbers working on the air, so you can keep breathing. Maybe it's just vaping. <laughs> it's just water vapor, man. Man, vapors can get testy if you, uh, if you, if you look askance at, at getting a, a face full of vapor. Like, it's just water vapor. Yeah, it's just water vapor that smells like ass and you blew it in my face. Get the fuck off. <laughs> also, Westland's hand is really weird when it's flying. It is. It looks it's like it's the wrong hand upside down or something. Uh, oh, don't one, two, twitch like that. One, two, three, four, five. I, I, how's... No, wait, wait, wait. Really? You have to roll three dice? That seems... Oh well, as long as they're both following the same rules, I guess. Oh, uh, four fives. That's pretty good. Yeah. Come on up, buddy. Oh, it's gonna suck for the AI there. He, he had like a, a, a long run and he had to sacrifice some of that to even have a shot. I hate it when that happens. Yep. The yeah, so thrill no one will okay. be seated during the thrilling dice rolling scene. So can we tell from his shoulder what rank he is? He is a chief I think he's a chief petty officer. Um if I saw it in real life I could be more specific than that, but I'm sure he's an engineering chief petty officer. because um, that's where we found him. Come on up, old salt, you're mine. That's what he says when he's getting blown, too. Also, it's fairly unusual for people of that age to still be in. <laughs> and that's a horse. Never believe in old salt. They're known for lying. <laughs> Even about if it's a horse? Well, just kind of in general. <laughs> it... Oh, we have to pick three to roll, but we've got three of a kind here. I don't think I like the rules of this game. Oh, maybe just under some circumstances you have to roll three. Yeah, maybe. Ow! Don't twiddle your fingers, that looks weird. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a like a spider having an epilepsy fit. Snake eyes. I'm assuming that with the new technology, he's able to use, like, uh, save states and things. Uh, and that's why he's winning so Oh, much. yeah. 
seat, and they've got that money on the table, but they're not betting. And a game like this, betting would actually affect your, your, your style of play somewhat. No, they they are betting the money. They uh, they're just playing like a long hand or something. Oh, I see. It's kind of all or nothing. It looks like then. Yeah. We already won the rum, and then he was like, would you play for money? And we said, sure, what the fuck. They both look really reddish. Yeah. Ooh, old Salt has a, an anchor, I just noticed. He's, he's got the Popeye mark. Oh, yeah. Much like John Pertwee. He, as you stare into his eyes longingly. Pertwee has a Popeye. See, we're, we're winning his money. See, he's just got a dollar left. Oh, I see. I it could also be that maybe there's like some sort of weird trick like you have to hit roll uh when his hand flips or some shit, you know? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it might be signaling of some sort. Of a kind. Three fours beats, three ones. I, oh god. Oh, our hero, by the way, has got rainbow candies like Skittles for, for, uh, for ribbons on his chest there. And apparently seven stars on his lapels? Um, well, he's not a seven-star admiral because there's no such thing. He's a commander, which doesn't get any stars, so I'm not entirely sure what his lapel is doing. Maybe he's just got really bad things. Maybe. <laughs> Twitch really upset. Yeah. They go to four stars, if I remember right. There's a theoretical five star, but that's, um. Like, no. That's never been discovered, and that's like a black hole. Pretty much. It's, it's, uh, it's honorary. It's allowed by, you know, law. Uh, but the, the president has to, uh, oh, I'm sure we're gonna get some now, aren't we? President essentially has to go, you, you're a five star, but just because I think you're awesome, not because you've earned it. So it's, yeah, it's supposed to be saved for really big deals, and it's supposed to be saved for admirals who've, who've like, won a war or something. Um, mm. But uh, a president of a certain personality type could just give it to all of his buddies. Okay, so now we're playing for an electronic device, which sounds like something that this chief petty officer should not be gambling away. I, I see a few problems with how this chief petty officer is uh, uh, behaving as a, a sailor in the U.S. Navy. <laughs> He's probably old enough to retire. He shouldn't have that beard. That's not regulation. Uh, rolling up his sleeves is not regulation. Having a cigar uh, aboard a, a, a sub is not acceptable. Having a bottle of whiskey or rum on a sub is not acceptable. Gambling is actually heavily frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> Fraternizing with an officer is heavily frowned upon. Yeah, he'd, he'd, he'd be up for captain's mess pretty quick if uh, if someone were to be really tight about the rules. <laughs> 